I'm going to make Cinnabon cookies today, and it's a oatmeal cookie with graham crackers and lots of cinnamon. And part of what's going to make them Cinnabon cookies is that I'm going to make little thumbprints in the cookie dough and then fill it with this uh, cinnamon slurry. And it's got cinnamon, vanilla, um, cinnamon chips, and sugar. And it's a thick little slurry that I'm going to fill in the little thumbprints. And when they bake, it's going to sink into the cookie and just form this like button of cinnamon goodness in the middle of the cookie. And once they're cooled, I'm going to frost them with um, a cream cheese based frosting so that it really does taste like um, a Cinnabon bun that you'd get at the mall. So what I've done is I've scooped out all my cookie doughs and I've rolled them together like this, like a little meatball, so that they're nice and round. And now I'm just going to go and make a little thumbprint. You push it down and you get a little indentation. And you just go, bloop! Make a little, it's like a little thumbprint in the cookie. And then this is the cinnamon slurry. And this I'm just using a half teaspoon measure. And I'm just going to go in and fill the little thumbprint. And it looks, a, it's a little thin right now, but when it bakes, it gets really thick and just settles into the cookie. So that's the first row, and then you just keep going. And you can use the, sa the same technique to make um, those uh, jelly cookies. Like, they come out around Christmas time. They're sugar or butter cookies and they have like a little spoonful of jelly in the middle of them. This is basically the same technique, but I'm doing something a little different with the cinnamon. And you don't have to do a precise measure of the, of the filling. I'm just using that, that spoon just to make it easier to get the filling inside the cookie. And if your walls crack a little bit on the outside, just push it together, it doesn't matter. Doesn't have to be perfect. And one more in this row. So you see it, you just keep going, do one tray at a time. And this um, cinnamon filling smells really good. And if you want the recipe, you can just go to my website. So that's it. Now, these are ready to pop in the oven for about 10 minutes. Uh, and that's it. And when they cool, you just frost them, and you've got yourself a Cinnabon cookie.